Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition. We're going back up to the great white north into Montreal. It's 2024, and I'm going to break down Marty Robert, a.k.a. Marty the Capo, the most prominent, uh, ambitious, high-profile biker boss uh, in North America right now, um, is making a run for the entire country's racket empire. That's what we've been reporting over the last six months that uh, Marty Robert and the Hells Angels want to take over the Canadian underworld and are looking to absorb the Rizzuto crime family in the process, uh, conquer their rackets, and then take all of uh, Quebec, Ontario, and then eventually move westward. So I'm going to break down Marty's inner circle right now, guys that he has real close to him that he's relying on for muscle, for business, for counsel, uh, about five to 10 guys that are in his inner circle that make up his cabinet per se. So his, you know, if you've been following Marty, if you've been following the Hells Angels in Montreal, some of these names will be familiar. Um, but I just want to break it down and let you know the scorecard for 24 in, in terms of who Marty has lined up right next to him. So let's start with his best friend and right-hand man, Stefan Plouf, uh, Thess. Uh, this is, you know, this is his chief of staff, uh, a guy, a longtime Hells Angel guy that's very trusted, very capable. Uh, and, and, you know, Thess is Marty Shadow. Uh, a guy that uh, is as trusted and relied upon as any in Marty's inner circle. Uh, when you get beyond Fest, you get to his bodyguard, kind of his young, uh, younger protege, Big Mike LaMontagne, who uh, is by his side quite a bit as well, watching his back, uh, doing, doing some of his bidding. Uh, and then a guy that's made his way recently into Marty's inner circle over the last couple of years. We've talked about it. Uh, Teflon Rob Barletta, who's been moved uh, from his role as a leader in the Hells Angels in Ontario, uh, in London, as well as Niagara, and was brought up to Montreal uh, about three, three, four years ago to help with, you know, Marty's, Marty's plan uh, to uh, keep pushing the needle and grow the Hells Angels power in Canada bigger than it's ever been. And it's been pretty big over the years. Uh, he wants to take what Mom Boucher did uh, and supersize it, put it on steroids. So Rob Barletta is ostensibly a big piece of that, uh, is known for his ability to um, not just run interference with the Italians, but also uh, he's great with numbers. He's great uh, running a sports book. He's great collecting. Uh, a guy that really knows the ins and outs of the gambling business and uh, was another guy that was involved in construction back in the day, working very closely with the Rizzutos. Um, when you get beneath that kind of core three, uh, you go to guys like Race uh, Larvier, who we've talked about before, Jean Richard uh, Lar Larvier, who is a uh, big uh, street bank guy. Uh, drugs, weapons guy, a guy that's been around, uh, fought on the front lines uh, of a number of wars. Uh, there's some questions about where he stands with Marty right now because of his relationship with, because of uh, race's relationship with, with Greg Woolley and Sammy tomorrow, who have both been uh, slain in the last couple months, but uh, we'll still put race right in there as a, a major cog in this Hells Angels wheel that's being spun by Marty Robert. Um, you also got a guy named uh, David Lefevre, uh, Lefevre or Lefevre, uh, they call him Fever Dog, another top uh, top uh, lieutenant for, for Marty. And then you got the Vashon brothers who are uh, pretty, f you know, feared siblings that um, uh, Francois and Sylvain that uh, very capable guys that are earners, guys that are known um, very capable with their hands, very trusted again uh, by Mar by Marty Robert. All these guys were at Marty's wedding back in 2018. And then we get to the OGs, uh, the guys that are, you know, if this was an Italian mafia, you, you would consider them consiglieris or uh, emeritus guys that Marty looks to from the old guard. Marty's only about 50 years old. These guys are in their 60s and 70s, go back to Mambouche, go back to the original Montreal nomads 
uh, guys like Salvatore Brunetti and then uh, Dick Mayrand. And uh, Mayrand is a, a <laughs> he is he's as OG as you come. Um, when it comes to the Hells Angels in, in Montreal, Brunetti was a rock machine guy that became a, a, a Hells Angel. He's a little older than than Mayran, but I know uh, Marty really leans on uh, Dick Mayran for not just his conduit to, to the old guard, but as somebody that he really respects in terms of his ability to lead an offensive uh, tactically as someone who knows how to uh, interact with the rank and file, someone who knows how to interact with other groups. And I know that Marty is taking a lot of counsel from Dick Mayrand and, and Salvatore Brunetti. Um, but you know, those are the guys that Marty has around him right now for this, what's being uh, deemed by law enforcement as well as guys on the street. It's called Marty's War right now. Marty, uh, it's a war within a war. We've talked about that. Started off as the Rizzuto mob fighting off an insurgents. Um, allied in an alliance with the Hells Angels. And at some point in the last year and a half, Hells Angels now have uh, began firing upon the Rizzuto mob, trying to uh, forge a hostile takeover. And these are the guys that Marty Robert has around him. Marty Robert right now, uh, as I said, probably the most consequential mafia boss right now in North America. And that's not taking, any, that's not taking anything away from Tommy O from the outlaws or, or, Keith Richter from the Pagans, but um, this is just at a different level. We've never seen this before. Someone trying to take over a country um, and flip a paradigm that has been in, in existence forever, where the Italians were kind of the, the final word in, in the Canadian underworld and the Hells Angels were subservient to them. Well, now Marty wants the Hells Angels to be the final word. So we'll, we'll as always here on the OG pod, we'll, we'll be tracking it and keeping you up to date in real time what's going on in the war up in Canada. But this is a breakdown of the scorecard for 2024 and who Marty Robert has in his inner circle. It's a murderer's row, baby. Uh, buckle in, because 2024 is sure to be as crazy, if not crazier, than 2023. Uh, for OG Pod, I'm Scott Bernstein. Out.